Hey guys, Nolan here. Today we're talking about posting, or as other people like to call it, rising trot. But before we do that, I just want to do a quick little shout out to all the new subscribers who decided to join us on our little journey. Hello, and welcome to our corner of the horse world. We'll be talking about all the fun things that happen in this horse world and make it go round. If you haven't hit the subscribe button yet, the button is down below. You know what to do, but if you don't know what to do, pretty simple. Hit the button, hit the bell. And a quick reminder to watch this video all the way through so that at the end of the video, I got some goodies for you. You don't want to miss it out. Watch the video all the way through. In a previous video, which I'll link to up there as well as down below for you mobile users, we spoke about how to get the shoulders back without all this fight intention. Definitely, you should give that a check out after you've completed this video. In the comments section, I was asked by a fellow subscriber, which remember, we are calling each other Little Cruisers now. They asked me, can I do something similar on how to do Rising Trot? Sorry that it took me so long to do it. I had a whole bunch of other things locked and loaded to go, and we are here finally. So, a simple thing, how do we do a Rising Trot? So, first things first. What is Rising Trot? Rising Trot is pretty much going up and down in your stirrups in sync with your horse's movements. Make it more simple, you stand up for a stride, you come down for a stride. As you go up for a stride, the outside shoulder of the horse is going forward, and as you come back down to a sitting position, the outside shoulder has reverted back. But today's video isn't about what is, what's not, how we should do it, blah, blah, blah. Today's video is for the fellow subscriber asking, how can we better it? Are you ready for me to blow your mind? <laughs> I just simply said two seconds ago that posting or rising trot is standing up your stirrups and sitting back down. Well, I was going to tell you that that's not what posting trot is. Posting trot isn't that easy. So the first thing is, what should you be doing? As you rise, think your belly button, your belt buckle, your crotch, whatever, going over the pommel once you're at the topmost part of your rise. By doing this, you will feel the stretch in your upper leg and front of your hips. As stated in that previous video regarding our shoulders, you want to still put that into play too. If we're roached over, our posting and our alignment of our shoulders is on the other, will go to hell in a handbasket. As I said in the previous video, taking a deep breath in, exhaling, and then the shoulders, everything go into place. By doing that, you've already realigned everything upstairs so that your lower part of your body can do its job and do it well. You'll also want to make sure your legs are far enough back so that they are on. They're not shooting out in front of you. This way, you will have the ear, the shoulder, hip, and heel ratio. By being straight through your vessel of your whole body and your core, this will help everything to stay in place, meaning that your posting will be successful. This then leads me into what you shouldn't be doing. Liking this video so far? Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. As you're trying to get the pelvis and everything over the pommel of the saddle at the topmost part of your post, do not, and I repeat this, do not, do not try to aid your pelvis by tilting your upper body over the pommel itself too. This will actually counteract what you're trying to do with the pelvis by stretching it. This will actually stick your ass out the back end, which then will not help you in the slightest. Instead of being straight and the pelvis going over, you're going to end up doing this. Your ass is way back here, and now your upper body is up here. How do you know that you are leaning too far forward? Chances are, you're going to feel it in your knees. But no one. Yes, I know what you're going to say, but no one, you said to keep my legs far back. I said keep them back enough that they are on, not that they're shot out behind you. Having your legs too far back is as equally bad as having your feet shot out the front on the dashboard. Trust me, I do know this one, seeing as that is one of my bad habits. I love to shove my feet forward. Another little tip that may help you if you're still struggling to grasp the feel for it, what I like to do is imagine somebody having their palm on my ass. What did you say? And as we go for the rise, huh? and as we go for the rise, and as we go for the rise, they're pushing my bum up, and then as we make it to the topmost, then they go, nope, flat, and push forward. This will also help you not fall into the bad habit that I see a lot of people do, especially that are in the hunter ring, which is they start posting from back to the front of the saddle. I hate to take this back to, like, sex education, but we're not here humping the saddle. Just remember to stay straight, sink down, stretch up, and forward, sink down, stretch up, and forward. Not... Back to the saddle, to the front of the saddle, back to the saddle, to the front of the saddle. Now, the first few times you do this, it's going to be uncomfortable. Do not get discouraged. Do not feel like I look like an idiot. Let me just go back to the other way where I kind of fake it. Do not try to fake it. Problem probably is there are a few things that might be in your way. First, you might be clamping on with your knees. Let your whole leg stretch down the side of the horse and have your legs on the horse's sides as you push up and forward. If your legs go too far forward, you're going to feel yourself rock, meaning your legs are going to slide forward and you're going to fall into the back seat. And then you're going to find it's hell impossible. And knowing you want my pelvis to go over the pommel, are you crazy? It's not happening. Chances are legs are too far forward, legs are not on, and they are not supporting you or your body. Think a bit, bringing the leg back a bit, so you can think that the inside of your calf is on the horse's sides. Have you hit the subscribe button yet? 
The button's right down there. Give it a click. The reason why I'm being very pushy on keeping those legs a bit further back and on, if it was a smaller choppier horse or compact horse, you can kind of get away with just riding up and down off the stirrups. When you get onto a horse who has a really big stride, there's some hang time. So instead of going up, down, up, down, up, down, there's a up, down, up, down, up, down. There's that little hang up there as they fully extend the body. If your legs are not on, he'll be going up. And before he hits that hang time, you're already falling back down. So we want to make sure that those legs are on his sides because we don't want to diminish that good stride that he has naturally. We don't want to make it comfortable for us so that we can do the job. We want him to do his trot. So while it's going to be a little rocky here and there, you also want to think that maybe your leg isn't as developed as you think it should be. So if you find that you have the bad habit that your leg is shooting out in front of you and as you go up you kind of tilt back, realize that it's going to take some time for you to build the right muscle to actually support yourself. So just because you put your legs in the right position and you're doing the pose correctly and your legs could be in the perfect position, that doesn't mean it's going to be A, comfortable or you're going to get the perfect reaction. It's going to feel like kind of crap at the beginning because you now need to build the muscle and the strength to be able to carry yourself like that effortlessly. Don't worry, it will come. It's just going to take a lot of patience and persistence. And that's pretty much everything I got to tell you about posting right now. Just remember that you're staying straight, you're sinking down, you're going up and forward a bit over the pommel and back again. Not back and forth and no jamming your feet forward and you're collapsing backwards. Sink, up, forward, sink. And don't feel like you were taught wrong if all you were taught was to stand up and sit down, stand up and sit down. Something I got taught that I really take to heart now when I, I'm learning new things. You may have learned it once, that doesn't mean you learned it all. You're going to come back to it again in a week, a month, a year, five years, whatever. And you're going to learn it again a bit more deep. And then you're going to learn it again a bit deeper again. And then you're going to learn it again a bit better again. It's not that you just learn it and you got it. Chances are you're going to learn it again and you're going to learn it a bit better. As I say, when you first start running, if you're taught how to post by just standing up and sitting down, standing up and sitting down again, nothing wrong there. Now we're taking it a bit deeper to say, this is how we're going to do it a bit better. Oh, you learned it a bit better. Oh, this is what posting is. That's pretty much what riding is. We're always learning. So thanks so much for watching through this whole video to this point. This is your reward. Down below, you're going to get a code for Ride for Babes website where you can get a discount on one of their classes. The code is down below. Give it a shot. Give it a check out. Also, don't forget the Ride for Babes Facebook page, which is linked down below. Also holds a contest where you can get some free stuff and some goodies too. Definitely give that a check out too. All right. So let me know down below in the comments how you were taught to post. Was it up and down, up and down, or was it up, forward, back down again? Let me know in the comments down below. And down below, you'll also find links to my Instagram, my Twitter, my Facebook. All links down below, you know what to do. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. As I said earlier, it's a little thing, but it goes a long way. If you haven't already, why not hit the subscribe button too and become a little cruiser. We have new videos up every week for your entertainment, but also to make sense of this horse world and everything that makes it go round. That's pretty much all I got for you guys today, all right? Thank you so much for watching. I'm Michael Cruz, and I'll talk. See you. Down!